How often does work experience really excite the students taking part? I've learnt so much already and I've only been here a day and a half. It's definitely better coming here, finding out, instead of from a website or from teachers at school. You don't really get to talk to these sort of people in something like school, so just getting that sort of experience of seeing that they are human too is really helpful. This is a real eye-opening opportunity for students like these. They're taking part in a work experience programme with a difference. Set up by GSK and accredited by the education charity EDT's Industrial Cadets, youngsters from 15 to 17 were immersed in the workplace to get an insight into the career opportunities that could open up for them with school subjects in the sciences, technology, engineering and mathematics. Now the Industrial Cadets Initiative says it hopes more and more young people and companies will get involved. Sitting in a classroom is one thing, learning about science, technology, engineering and maths, but actually coming into industry and seeing how studying those subjects can be applied into a job later on in life is really important. For someone like me who's interested in science, something like this unique experience offers me transferable skills that I can talk about that I don't get in schools. So it allows me to set myself out from the crowd. I know that I want to do a career within science. I'm looking specifically at nutrition at the moment, but I'm still I'm in year 12, so I'm not too sure. So this is showing me what it would be like. GSK is a company that sees the importance of this sort of work experience. Their involvement is part of their commitment to supporting the next generation of scientists, technologists, engineers and mathematicians and they've created the largest multi-site accredited work experience programme in the Industrial Cadets calendar. Something they hope will encourage more young students to see a future in STEM subjects and the opportunities they offer. If we look broadly at all of the STEM subjects, there are still some gaps in many of those subjects. Some areas have become more popular, like technology, but straight science for sure is still difficult to inspire young people to want to pursue that as a career. And one of the key links of the programme that we're running is to really give individuals that context of how a basic scientific training can lead to so many diverse careers. The pharmaceutical industry has a, an obligation to actually go out and connect and engage. I would say that the main advantage for the organisations and the employers who are taking part in this initiative is really being able to develop skills within young people and first hand. Actually being able to give young people an insight helps to prepare them for the world of work and also helps employers to build up a talent pipeline.